Fine. What the apple? Be so okay. Be so okay. Go on. Hey YouTube. Welcome back to Naturally Philo. Today I am bringing you an African hair threading tutorial. So right now my hair has been uh, wetted. I have in my hair my leave-in, my oil, and some shea butter. So right now my hair is damp and after it dries I'm going to show you guys how to get from this shrunken state to this. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, so thanks for joining me today. I'm in a new vicinity, so um, let's get started. So right now my hair has dried. Um, as I mentioned before, in my hair is my Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In, my two oil mix, and sheer butter. So right now I'm just going to afro pick my hair out, so all around, making sure I'm getting all the roots out, everything out. Then I'm going to section out the first part of my hair that I'm going to comb out. So I'm combing all the kinks and all the coils out of my hair to begin with. So this is what I'm, that's what I'm doing with my wide tooth comb. So this is me after I've combed everything out in that section. And I'm just going to move on to the top part. So this is the African thread that I'm using. This is exactly how it looks like and you can find it in a African market. So here's what my grandmother's doing. She's gonna tie two knots and then she is going to take the section of my hair that she's beginning with, combing it out, and now she's gonna take the yarn and just start twirling, twirling. And she's making sure she's leaving no space in between my hair and the thread. And this is how you get it to stick up. So when you're done, she's when she's done, you're just going to tie two knots. And that's what she's doing right now. So afterwards, you have to cut off the excess thread off the ends of the hair. So this is the finished product. <laughs> and I'm looking crazy. But I don't care because it's going to stretch my hair. So yeah, I'm going to go sleep. And this is day two. So yeah, as you can see, it's um, calmed down a little bit. So I'm going to start with my two oil mix. And I'm just going to rub that through all of the strands. Yep. So this is the fun part. I'm just going to locate it and pull it out. <laughs> so this is not cooperating. Here we go. So look at that. Literally looks like I blow dried my hair. So now I'm just going to... Um, with the oil in my hair, I'm just going to massage it through and I'm going to take a little bit of sheer butter Just that much and I'm going to rub it through the ends and then the roots And now I'm just going to afro pick it out and that's basically what I'm doing for each section So I'm doing section by section because that makes it so much easier See? So yeah, fast forward This is so much fun I'm just doing the same thing. Sheer butter on the ends and then after pick it out. And basically this is the end result. Isn't that amazing guys? I recommend this. Like you this is insane. African hair threading is insane. So I'm just gonna after pick it out for you guys to see. This is seven months of hair growth. Well seven months post big chop. Um I'm almost a year since my last perm though. So this is, I am just thrilled. African hair threading is the way to go. <laughs> There's so much more you can do with stretched hair. It's insane. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it into a bun. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to tune in for my seven month update, which is the video right after this one. Um, yeah, and I'm uploading it today, so remember to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a blessed day, everyone. And until next time on Naturally Philo. Bye.